Right, this is the last video of the 16th of January 2023. I don't know if it'll work. I've got a, what I call a long lead attached to the camera and the battery charger. Um, it might fade in and out with this, this arrangement. Um, the lead can easily fall out the hole, that's what the problem is usually. But I thought I'd just do one little video to end this mid-January walk in the wood. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm intending to just go, get a more than just basic camera. I want one that is not as good as the Sony's I've had, I must admit. Not as good as the Sony's I've had. Hello! Oh, oh, hello! Are you friendly? I got you on camera. <laughs> I'll point the camera down a minute. Oh yeah. Hello. I haven't got you on. I pointed at the ground. All right. No. Yes, I've had um, a good couple of hours up here and I've had an interesting chat with a local man who seems to know a lot about the fort and it's, he believes that the timeline is way before the Iron Age. Well, well, of course it is. It's going to be much older than the Iron Age people. And he's, you know, he told me some interesting things. It's been a nice day and of course in the woods you're always protected from that cold wind unless you walk on the north side. You can, if once you get over here, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to get up early, so if you want to see the deer, to get up much earlier. <sighs> it's funny how logs can take on the shape of dogs or animals, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm just going for a short walk. I'm, I'll be, I'm going to Tesco's now, so I thought I'd just end the walk doing this bit. Um, so the first sunny day of January, to be quite honest, that I've experienced outside. I'm sure there have been sunny interludes, um, but most of the weather has been really bad. Horrendous winds. So here we have a little junction point. There's some people back there. For the whole pack. You've got to watch out for packs. That's a pack back there, see? if they're coming my way but I've just seen a you do get these professional walkers out even in this wood and there's a pack of dogs back there they're all little they all look like little dogs but there's more than one person now they might not have known about the the murder of that young woman look at that it's always a lovely view that scene isn't it of those yew trees I'm going to get a bit of a move on. I don't really want to be followed by a herd because what it is, the dogs often leave the owner and they can go off a long way before the owners are even near you to try and control their dogs. Um, and like I say, they act differently in a pack. I'm not sure if they're coming this way, but basically I'm, um, I've put on a bit of speed just to get ahead a bit. Yeah, I met the crows. The three crows came out and this gentleman I spoke to, he knows the crows well. And even said Mother Crow likes cat food and she'll tap on the window for her dinner. 
And she takes her two children out. So that means there must be a fourth crow somewhere, mustn't there? Yeah, this is the way I often come up this way. Puffing and huffing and puffing. And, uh... Like I said, I've videoed it, but this is the first time it's been videoed in 2023. So, though it's been videoed for the last, say, 15 years, I've, uh, and it'll be videoed throughout this year in different seasons. And I'll be wearing different clothing. You know? So, at the moment, I'm dressed for the winter. I've got a warm woolly jumper on. Very good jumper, this one. A warm, very warm t-shirt. Um, a winter t-shirt. Gloves, scarf, and woolly hat. Well, it's not a woolly hat, actually, but it is a, 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 a Russian hat. Sorry, you said to refer to it as. It fits my head nicely. It won't blow off in the wind. And it's good. And when it's cold at home, I wear it indoors as well. In fact, I've been wearing a lot of clothes indoors, really, because just to save heating, I've got um, what I call my Eskimo pyjamas that are really good, which I've had for years, and they were brand new, and I've only just started wearing them in December. They're really woolly and warm, and... Um, very good pyjamas for the winter. And I've got my lovely dressing gown. Full length one. I've got fingerless gloves. I need some new ones actually. They are starting to shred a bit now. And we're getting to the spot. Down there we'll have Fox Hotel and Badger City. And the steps were brand and I used to stop before maybe putting her back on the lead, maybe putting her on the lead here. Um, either to come into the wood or to leave. This is the junction point we would often come to. And I often say goodbye to Brandy here because I know she loved this wood. And she'd be, she'd be dancing and running with the badgers and foxes. I seen a fox earlier today when I was in Grove Park. Bold as brass it was. I was talking to this little Jack Russell and this fox just walked right by. It was amazing. A big dog fox. Not at all nervous. So we've got those steps there and we've got another set. But I normally say goodbye to Brandy here. And I know she's, her spirit is here. She loves it here. She, me and her explored this wood. It was with Brandy that I explored this wood in the very beginning. I had been up here a couple of times with Zara before she had a dog, but it was with Brandy. She showed me all the little pathways, and we did a lot together here for three or four years. Not as long as I thought. I love this wood. It's special. And I know I have to live over the other side of town. But I do make an effort to get her. And of course I can get the number 5 bus which would drop me at the quarry if I wanted to. It's cheating isn't it? I wanted to take pictures of the sea monster. And I've just been speaking to the gentleman, same gentleman, he was telling me how someone's making a fortune. The scrap metal. He said there was a big, a load of millions of money was spent bringing the Sea Monster old oil rig to Weston on different rafts on the sea. Big heavy cranes. He said now they've cut it up because <coughs> somebody's going to make a fortune from scrap metal. And I wonder if that money will go in the council pot <coughs> or not. Going down into the pollution area now. Yeah, I can just about make the sea monster out. I think they've already knocked a bit more down since I was past it this morning. 
can hardly see it now with the naked eye I'm not pointing at it but I think by the end of the day it'll be all down I think they've just got to remove all the, the scrap metal they've got welders in there he said cutting it all up and uh, Still going. <sighs> like I say, these videos they don't get seen. Over and out. <laughs>